We are diving into the interior, starting with the bathroom, because we got to make sure that the shower pan and the plumbing system works. And if it doesn't work, we have to get a new one and then build the bathroom around it. Just on both of the toilet, I got two nuts here. There's the poop chute. Look at that. For what it is, it's clean. We got the whole corner of the camper ripped out. That was the easiest way to get out the tub or the uh, shower and toilet black tank combo insert. This is the old floor and there's the old bathroom. This is where the toilet would be and your feet would be here and this is the shower pan. But anyway, we're gonna assess this whole thing. We're gonna clean it. We got the tub. It's not a tub. Shower, black tank, toilet, mount, combo. All in one unit. So here I got this piece of plumbing off so we're gonna lay that over there. There's a date right here. Uh, July 7th, 1976, and the model of the camper is 1977, so it, it, all, it all makes sense. But there's one crack in the shower, you can see the uh, gray there. That was a fix from a previous owner, it looks like a... And it's holding water, so it doesn't look pretty. Bag this, and bag this, flip it over, and fill the black tank, fill the shower, completely fill with water, and look for leaks. If there's any leaks, cross that bridge when we get there, so that's kind of where we're at. I did not film it, but I did find out at this point that there is a crack on the side of the black tank and at the bottom of the flange is halfway cracked in the tank. This is the leaking tub. It's not a tub. I, I, I'm just, you know what, I just keep, keep saying it's a tub. It's leaking, so we looked up. There's nowhere on there's markings of what type of plastic it is, right? So. According to the internet, most commonly, if it's not fiberglass, it's ABS plastic. So we're trying to assess that. So we cut out a, a you know, not as important area on this flange. And we got a couple things that they say to do to test for ABS, if it's ABS or not. Sinks or flows, flame tests, sniffing it, all sorts of weird stuff. So let's keep going. This is our sacrificial only piece that we're allowed to use for every test. First test, if it flows or sinks. If it sinks, that's that's good. We want it to sink. Passes test one. See yeah. if this piece could possibly be ABS plastic. So we have to burn it. To burn it. And we're looking for a flame that is specifically yellow with blue edges. Yeah. It's gonna stink really bad when it burns. Yeah. It's gonna drip. Like almost like burnt rubber too. They said yep. maybe. Uh, it's going to drip yep. plastic when it burns and it should maintain a flame. Yeah. That's what it says. We don't, we're not the, we're not the chemical. Black smoke, orange flame, blue around the edges. Maintaining it. Does right, it stink? Look. It's kind of gross. Do you smell it? Yeah, but it just smells like burning plastic. <laughs> All right, so we're on the bottom side of the black tank, and you can see where I circled it. It's gonna be tough to see, but there's a hairline, well, there's a crack that goes around the, this is where it's broken all the way through, but the crack continues all the way around the flange. So, the existing flange that was put in. So, what I'm gonna try and do is break, continue the break all the way through to get a bigger hole and then work with that size hole to redo this. This piece here was right here, right? So that was where the plumbing started, you know, it was the drain. This would be looking on the inside and it was just glued in, cemented in. So I cut it right around where the crack was and now I have a four and seven eighths diameter roughly hole. So that brings up other issues when it comes to how to make this work. I want to use a bulkhead, fi bulkhead fitting. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen and what's going to be the final finished product on this, but I'm going to show you what I'm doing because if this, if for some miracle this does work, then I kind of at least want to document it. So if you see this, that means we did a good job. So this is what I got. So this is called a closet flange. Um, 
for a regular household toilet. It's ABS. It's one of the few things that are ABS, which is what the plumbing is uh, in this camper, and it needs to be that to, in order for the ABS cement to work with the ABS material tank and whole shower pan, everything. So this is what I got. It's got a bunch of holes in it because of mounting, obviously. It's, I'm using it for a completely different scenario. Oh, and by the way, it slips right into, it's a hub, it's a hub fitting for three inch uh, pipe. So my plan is to take this flange, I don't know, this might work, I don't know, and cement it here. I hate doing it like this and not having something on the inside like a bulkhead, but a four inch bulkhead for this size hole is the only one that'll fit. Four inch bulkhead's like 190 or 100 bucks with shipping. So I'd have to cut a hole in the top to get the bulkhead in. I want to test fit this one on a piece first. So anyway, I'm sealing up these holes so that it's a good seal and I'm gonna PV or um, ABS cement which is, I'm assuming, mostly acetone, right on this flange, and I'm giving it as much of a bite as I can. And I'm gonna test it on a sheet of ABS that I have on order first. But first and foremost, so there you go. That is what I'm doing. I'm going to fill this in. I'm keeping them raised a little bit on this end so I can sand them flush. And then hopefully it'll be a nice, well, it'll be smoother than holes. Here is the plugged fitting. You can see I just filled it in with a thick slurry. Here's the test piece. We're going to take the flange that, this is all testing here. We're going to cut out the same diameter hole that I'm working with on the bottom, which is four and seven eighths. And then, once that hole's cut, we're gonna cement that on, flip it over, fill it with water, we'll put some walls on here for a little bit, make sure it's watertight, and if it's strong and it holds water, we're doing the same thing on the tank right there. You don't want that to break. It'd be like a landslide of crap. Sixty grit. Tricky to do fast, but we're doing it here. Yeah, and you can't fool around because it starts setting. So get over here. Here we go. That's it. Get it on there. Can't see my marks because it's all black. Do a twist. Test piece, similar scenario is what we're gonna do on the black tank. Just wanna test to see how strong this is. Let's see what this side does. Wow. There you go, there's proof that that works. And look what broke first. That's impressive. I did not expect that. Passes the test. That is exciting. Move forward. Medium black ABS cement. Mix it with ABS shavings, pancake batter, consistency. You gotta let it soak for a while to fill in some of the gaps. Not going crazy. Sixty grit. Alcohol. Let's do this. Right. 
Okay, this is a very important time in history for the truck camper build because it's gonna steer the ship on completely which way this project could go. This is the water test for the black tank after it was after it's been repaired. We gotta win plum full. Not apple full, plum full. Look at it. No leaking at all. But there's the patch job right there on the uh, underneath of the shower pan. So it'd be that right there, which was a previous fix. I just reinforced it with the plastic uh, acetone mixture. Oh man, this is good. This is good. Because now we can take this shower pan and black tank, yeah, and start fitting it for the interior so we can actually know how to build this thing. Because as of until now, it was like, well, this might not even work. And a new one of these is custom made at $400. So we probably won't go that way. So it'll be a different size bathroom and everything else. You get the idea. We had to fix or see if this worked before we could continue. So here we are. Let's move on. We got 120 grit on an orbital sander. Here we have the final product. Ended up <clears throat> finishing with two coats of paint. Here's the before color, look at that, huh? Next step, put it in there.